Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how I made my Poison Ivy costume. First, I'm going to start by showing you how I styled the wig. She has two buns on the top of her head so I separate the hair into two sections. I also sectioned some of the hair in the front out of the way. I carved some styrofoam balls into the egg-like shape that I need and hot glue them in place to the top of the wig. Then I use hot glue and wrap the hair around it. You want to make sure you totally cover the styrofoam with the hair. I used some spray glue for the hair on the side of the wig to keep it in place when wrapping it around. Here you can see the buns all wrapped up. Now I take out the section in the front and brush it in place. In the movie, her hair has some highlights. I didn't have the right color hair to add highlight extensions, so I just used blonde. All I did was cut little strips of hair and hot glue them in place. Her hair has some curl to it, so I spray the wig with water to help with the heat. Then I use a curling iron. When I'm done styling the hair, I color the highlights with some acrylic craft paint. I mix bright red and mustard yellow color, and I just brush it on the blonde strands. When the highlights are dry, I glue one of the strands around the buns to add a spiral of color. I do that to the other one as well, and that's pretty much it for the wig. Here you can see the wig all finished. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now I'm going to show you how I made her really high boots and gloves. I wrap my leg in plastic wrap and then wrap it in masking tape to get the shape of my leg. This is a commonly used method. It really helps you figure out what shape and length you need. Once I'm done wrapping it up in tape, I trace the shape I want, then the seam down the center of both sides. And I carefully cut it off my leg. Then I take the pieces of the pattern I just made and trace them onto fabric. This is a thin textured vinyl with a slight stretch to it. After I trace out the patterns onto fabric, I pin and sew the fabric together. Here's the piece sewn together, and how it will fit over as a boot cover. I only sewed it halfway down on the inseam to leave an opening to sew around the zipper of the boot. I fold the edge of the fabric slightly, then pin it down along the zipper. Then I carefully sew it down. Here you can see how it looks with it sewn on. And I folded the fabric at the bottom and glued it down. Now that the boot cover is attached to the boot properly, I can just slide it on and zip it up. Next I'm going to show you how I made the glove. First I just traced a larger version of my hand onto paper. Then I traced that out onto fabric, and I cut two pieces for each hand. I lay the pieces together and cut off the thumb. Then I take a thin strip of fabric and sew it between all the remaining fingers. I only sew about the same width of a finger. If you have stretchy fabric, you probably don't need to worry about doing this, but it makes the glove more structured. Then I sew the glove together. When I'm done sewing it, I cut off any excess fabric. Then I put it on and cut a hole for my thumb. I sew the thumb pieces together, then turn them inside out. Then attach that to the hole of the glove. For the top of the glove around my arm, I put it on to trace where I need to shorten it. Then I cut off the excess fabric. Then 
I cut the shape of a leaf and sew it to the glove and finish the edges. Here's what the boots and gloves look like all sewn together. But her boots and gloves aren't black in the movie, so I paint them with a gradient of greens with acrylic craft paints. Since this fabric has texture and is porous, it held the paint well. But make sure you do a test sample of paint on whatever material you use to make sure you are using the right stuff. I also paint the gloves. And add some extra colors and details to the tips of the fingers. Here's what the boots and gloves look like all finished. Now I'm going to show you how I made this belt. First I draw a pattern for the belt onto paper so I know that it's the right size and shape. Then I trace the paper on some craft foam and cover the craft foam with fabric and sew it on. When I'm done sewing the belt, I spray it with some glue. Then I lay down this textured trim to add dimension to the belt. When the glue dries, I paint the belt solid black. Then I go over it with green paint. Then I lightly go over it with gold paint to highlight the texture. For the belt buckle, first I sculpted a leaf shape, then I made a mold of it to cast it in resin. I have a more thorough video on how to do this that I will link in the description. After I'm done making the belt buckle out of resin, I paint it. First, I give it a dark coat of green paint. Then I highlight it with a lighter green and yellow. I add some details and definition with black. Then I highlight the edges with gold paint. I use metallic red paint to add some more details. Then I coat it all in Mod Podge and let it dry. Then all I did was super glue it to the belt and add some Velcro on the back to make it wearable. And other than sewing a super basic tight shirt and leggings, that's pretty much it for my Poison Ivy costume. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful, and maybe you learned some things that you can apply towards different projects. I really did have a lot of fun being this character and would love to do some of her other outfits. What other DC characters would you like to see me do? Be sure to check out the description for lots of helpful links. I also have a video showing how I did her makeup and made her mask, and many other makeup transformation and cosplay tutorials on my channel, so go check those out.
Thank you so much for watching guys, bye!